Good morning and welcome to worship. It is good to be together in the spirit and together in person on this, our anniversary Sunday. It is good to be together in God and in the family of Christ. Uh, for those of you who are doing confirmation class, please actually get on and do a little something. I'd like to have a Zoom chat sometime this week where we can go over some of the things that you've learned. And um, so learn a little so that we can do that. And then I'd like to move along in just getting you confirmed. And then Kristen has several other Christian education announcements for this morning. Good morning. Um, the big ones are youth group is getting ready to start up next Sunday. Um, we are going to have our only actual in-person event, which is going to be a kickball game over on the baseball field. Um, I'm calling it the kickball kickoff. So come for that. It's going to be next Sunday at 4 o'clock. And I'm inviting all families to join as well. Um, you know, if you want to hang out on the sidelines, there should be enough room for everyone to distance. Um, and if you want to bring a picnic, lunch, dinner, um, you know, we can all spread out on the field after the game and, and hang out a little bit too. Um, it will also be your opportunity to get your packs for the upcoming Zoom youth group um, weeks. So we're going to be making packets up of, of stuff we're going to be doing, um, including some crafting things and some stuff we're going to do different weeks by Zoom. So it'll be your opportunity to pick those up. If you cannot make it to the kickball kickoff, we will get your packs to you, but this way we can uh, cut down on the labor on our end and, and get you guys to, um, to pick up anyone who's coming can get their things. Um, siblings are also welcome to come. Families, you know, this is, this is a we never got to have our barbecue or anything, so this is going to be kind of an all-welcome all event uh, for youth group. Um, and the other event that's upcoming is we are trying to start a youth group alumni group. Um, it's not really specifically any age group, but if you participated in youth group in the last, you know, six to ten years, something like that, and you want to join us, um, we are going to have a Zoom game night on Saturday night. I've started a group in Realm, and if you are in the group already, you should have gotten an email from me a few weeks ago. I'm going to send another one out um, this week. If you want to be part of the group and you didn't get any information about it, feel free to email me and I'll, I'll add you to the group. Um, but we figure while we're in lockdown somewhat still and um, so many people are in different places that we can connect by Zoom, even if people are now in different places and different stages of their life, um, and get you to reconnect with some of your friends from youth group days. So we're hoping for, for a nice uh, group for that, too. If anyone has any questions about any of that, they can get in touch with me. In terms of other Christian education, Sunday school continues. We kicked off last week. We're going to be weekly on um, Sundays directly after the service at 1130 by Zoom. Um, Mike will be leading this week. So don't get to see me again if you're all sick of me. <laughs> it's been a long run. Um, but we're going to try and start mixing it up like we did for, old, for Sunday school in person, where we'll have different people leading different weeks. Um, and then adult education, we have the screw tape letters continuing on Tuesday evenings, also by Zoom, um, where there's a weekly chapter to read. And then we have discussion questions, and we kind of go through that and also share some, some time together. So that's been very nice as well. Um, that's also a specific group in Realm. So if anyone has not done that yet and they want information about that, feel free to email me. It's not too late. Uh, their letters kind of stand alone, so you won't be totally lost um, if you join in now. All are welcome. Thank you. You are able and join me in the call to worship. Let the same mind be in us that was in, Jesus, in Christ Jesus. He emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. God has highly exalted him and given him the name that is above every name. So at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. In our worship, we bring glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We humble ourselves in praise and offer ourselves in service in Jesus' holy name. Come, let us worship God. And please join me in singing the opening hymn found in your bulletin, The Church's One Foundation.
Please join me in reading the opening prayer. Steadfast God, as the seasons change, we see that you are still at work in the world, transforming hearts and situations. We praise you for all you do to repair injustice, bring peace to places of hostility, working for goodness to prevail among neighbors and nations. You have shown us the true face of power in Jesus Christ, reaching out with healing and hope to touch desperate lives. Let us see the face of Jesus in this time of worship and fill us with renewed energy and insight this autumn so that we can join in your work to bring justice and joy into the world you love. In Jesus' name, amen. created as God's own precious and beloved children, made in God's own image. And yet often we do not live up to that calling of who we truly are. 